Raquel Welch, always in the color shaded biscuit. This is straight out of the box, that heat friendly. So I'm going to see if I can relax these a little bit. That's why I say you gotta test your tools because not all tools are created equally. Boy, she looks like she'd be cuting it up, do. I have this, I'm just gonna pick this one here. I got this new flat iron that we were talking about. It's that T-Y-M-O. See the drop down description for the reasons why I returned this. The controls are on the inside, so that's nice. But see the plates are just half inch shorter. So I'll have to just see how it feels in my hand. It does feel lighter weight than that one I got rid of. Let's take it up to 280 and see. I am feeling a little drag. I didn't give her a cold bath or anything. Let me see what it feels like if I were to try to curl it. See, I'm getting some drag there. I'm not sure what the drag is from. I don't know if it's dragging on the back side. I mean, it kind of did what I want, so that's let's leave that there and give. Let's see if we're gonna go. Let's go all the way smooth. I mean, it goes smooth, nice, but I can still feel. I don't know how to explain drag. Drag is like if you have lotion on your fingers and you try to smooth them across a clean surface, they drag. That's what I mean when I'm saying I feel. But it's supposed to have floating plates, so I'm I'm just taking. Thin, tiny sections, and you know what? You know, I always tell you, if you're gonna do it, just get those crinkles out. Let's go to 260 and see if we can get that curl not as tight. This is why I tell you sometimes I don't put my video on until I'm up a row or two. That swivel doesn't seem to swivel. All right, see if we can go slower. That little noise means that, okay, that's not, that one's okay. You know, I've told you, I'm more comfortable going down. Let's see, but I can't do it and stay out of your way. I'm just getting all tangled up here. That's not bad though. Leave it. Let's see if we can get a rhythm here. Let's go ahead and smooth out if there's any kind of crinkles right there. There is some just on the very, very bottom. And I'll tell you, sometimes those come from the factory like that. Like I've said, if I'm going to do this for hours and hours, I need a tool that does what I want. It's lightweight, I will say that. It's lightweight. I do like the on-off controls. I do like the temperature controls. I'm going to slow down where those little crinkles are right there. So what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and um, smoothing the crank. I guess what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this girl to look different than the one I have in the other room. I got her too fluffy on top. She looks, um, poor thing, she looks like a mullet. She's got a lot of little short layers going on. It will, baby. Don't tell her I said that. What I'm hoping to do is not change any of that up there. So I don't want to get all this, um, what do you call it? clipped up their clip marks. Okay, isn't she cute for a updo? She'd be cute wedding hair, prom hair, fancy dinner hair, mother of the bride hair. What is she? She's only a basic cap too. I love her. I just might get her in another color. If I can try to stay out of your way here. What do I got that at? 260, I've only got that at 260. That's why I say you gotta test your tools because not all tools are created equally. A lot of times on my Rockout Welch girls, it seems like I need to go up to 340 on a lot of them. So, and I don't know if it's because she's new that the low temperature is working on her. You know, she doesn't have a lot of crinklies. That's what I mean. She's new without a lot of crinklies yet. Sometimes drastic tangles cause for drastic heat. I'm using my lounge at 360 degrees. 
I know it sounds scary, but it's just steamy water. So see all those crinkles in there? I'm not combing through it. I'm just going through it. Now, see, now my hand was too close to that steam over there on the right. And you can see that crinkle didn't come out, but you go in there and you start combing while it's warm. See how you can comb those out better when it's warm? Still got crinkles that are going to encourage more crinkles, so go through it again. Slow down where that crinkled spot is and just watch them. Watch them go straight. I know it impresses me. Rockette Welch mesmerized in Shaded Biscuit. I can still feel crinkle right there. Still a little bit at the ends, so I'm going to spray right there where that crinkle is, a little bit at the ends. It's just water. I don't have anything on her. No heat protector, nothing. I'm going to go slower right there where that crinkle was. Again, this is at 360 degrees. And look at that. Look at that. Still crinkles right there. And that's right where... There's some short ends that stop right there, and those short ends have little crinkles right in the ends of them. I've never used my tools this hot before. See how gorgeous these fibers move? That's why I say, test your tools. The first time I ever watched somebody take a a uh, wig right out of the box, brand new, and completely straighten it out and change the curl. I thought they were crazy. I thought, well, why wouldn't you wear her until she needs heat? Well, because I didn't like the way she, the style looked. I wouldn't be wearing her that way. So she would sit there and not get to go out. Like these examples, I recurled right out of the box. Get her looking good. If you want the curl tighter, wrap it around farther. So let's go like that, like a full wrap. There you go. So you could either go even tighter around or slower or change your heat temperature, either up or down. I don't know all the answers. And if I did know them, I forget them. Remember, we got this temperature low. What is it? 260. You know, sometimes if you have to go over the curl, and I'm going to go forward on this one. If you have to go over the curl too many times to get the crunchies out, take your temperature up. But see, this is what I don't like on the other one, or maybe this one. We'll see when she gets here. She's got all these heavy cuts here, like the Farrah Fawcett cut or Wolf cut, whatever you want. But they all kind of stop here, and then it just drops down. And I don't care for that. So, and I know these are teeny tiny strands, but I'm trying to take my time with her. And I'm going to go forward with this one because we kind of went back the whole bottom layer. Maybe. Be careful combing those out so you don't cause a zinger crinkly to snap up. I like to get out every single crinkle. I think I learned that from my, I had two instructors in cosmetology that were absolutely over-the-top perfectionists and I mean you were not allowed to roll up a pin curl or a roller curl perm curl curling iron curl nothing without getting every single tangle out they um, told us that if you, you curled it with a tangle in it you had a tangle when you were done with your style and your style did not look nice and smooth so that's what's in my head when I'm smoothing all these out. Finished products look smoother because I've smoothed everything out. And they will last you longer if you do that. If you smooth out everything as you're going, let's go back. As you smooth everything out as you're going, it will stay smoother longer. Now I got a bend right there where I put the curling iron in, I can't leave that. So smooth motion. Oh, 
I'm going slower right there where they're, those crunchies are right there in the layer that stops here, not these ends that come down here. So when people say that they get a brand new wig and wear it in a couple hours and it's tangled, a lot of times that's because it comes from the factory with a little bit of tangle in it. See how I take my fingers and just give it a little twist. And remember the other day I was talking about don't get an iron that snags. I can feel this pulling sometimes. But where? I don't know. I don't know what is. I don't know if it's me or if it's the iron. It could be me. So let's not be too quick to judge. But you can see how there's lots of little hairs just kind of flowing all over the place there. And maybe that's what I'm catching and snagging on because they're hairs that I can't always see. I'm trying to remember. Any of you professionals out there, was there a way that we can hold the iron and the comb at the same time without having to always lay it down? I honestly don't remember. I don't remember always laying my curling iron down when I'm doing somebody's hair. Which way are we going? No wonder I can't remember 45 years ago. Looks like that one went that way, so we're gonna go this way. I skipped a beat, but it turned out okay. No, did it? Yeah. Which way are we going? Back on this one? I need to quit talking so I can speed this up for you. She feels beautiful. The fibers feel beautiful. Let's, let's, let's take it up. Let's take it to 280. Is it there yet? Yes, it's there. All right. I missed those ends, but they're okay. Got, so we've got just a little bit more movement there. Which way going forward? I mean, yes, wigs have lots of different links in them, but usually they're more staggered throughout the strand. So it's funny that they all stop right there. Which way? Forward. Hold my finger there to keep the tail up. All right. See, I still don't like, and this is what was happening on is those little short ends in there. To my eye, they look like little crunchies, just the way they want to pop out in, and people who know how to cut curly hair, you know that you cut it in a certain area, and I don't remember what area that is. I just cut it. But if you cut curly hair wrong, you have little ends that want to pop out in the wrong, wrong place, like they're, like they're out of step. Like if you're dancing and they're out of step. Let's go back. Ah, oh, that one looks cute. We still got that drop off. We drop off from here to here. My intention is I will probably go in and do um ch -ch -ch chop. Ch -ch what it what is that called? Tapered. See how much crazy thought I put into every single curl? Have I mentioned I'm an overthinker? But I like this little iron. It's not too heavy. It's not too heavy. That's what I was definitely looking for that. I need one that's not too heavy. And if you can't get the tangle out, Go ahead and run your heat over it. Your heat will soften it to help you get it out. Um, what? If it, oh, that one turned out nice, leave it. 
So you remember on the one we were doing the other day, I was putting water on to get the crunchies out because it had worse crunchies. It had a lot of, a lot of what? So she had a lot of crunchies. This one doesn't have that. So I don't need water. I can go at a lower temperature. I can go slower. I don't need water. Still getting every crunchy out. And she's got some short pieces in there that I don't want to get the curling iron up there too high. Well, probably will, because it's a front piece. Why? Because those curlies like to pop, and I'm going curlier. Those, or I thought I did, but I don't like the way it just blended in with the one behind it. So I'm going to try to go opposite. Let me move these out of the way just so I can get a better hold on her. Sometimes just, you know, moving your, oh, let's let her down. Hello. Remember that word? Ergonomically correct. Make sure you've got your good posture. Let's try to go forward, trying to make the curl higher up. Going curlier. Oh, okay. She's good enough. We'll let that stay. Now I'm going to take this clip out. I'm not going to leave it there because be careful taking those out that they don't cause a snag because I don't want that to have a clip mark if I leave it too long. But I don't like this drop off from here to here. I know I've said that before. I even forgot. Remember I had her on. Was that just yesterday? I had her on yesterday where I tried her on. I took pictures. I took videos even out in the wind. I don't remember if I ran my hands through her or not. So I may have been the one that put these crunchies in here because I knew that I was gonna do something to her. Let's preheat. Seems like every strand needs a preheat. What direction did we try to go back? I did a layer without you because the camera shut off. That's what you missed, is I tried to go a little curlier to see if we can kind of bounce up to meet up with these short pieces. The section that I'm starting to get into now, hang on, I can't talk and comb at the same time. I'm starting to feel those, see right here, there's hairs that stop right there. And then you come down and there's hairs that stop there. I call those support hairs. Those are hairs that support the style. But if you go in and you make this too curly here, it can make it too fluffy. I mean, I think that's kind of why I look all, what did I say the word was? What's the, what's the other one look like? She looks like a mullet. When I wore her out in public, that is the first time that I have ever felt self-conscious wearing a wig in public. If people thought, oh my God, she's got a mullet. That's why my other, so I'm, I'm going to try to drop below those. I think, I don't even remember whether I videoed that one or not. Probably did not, I think, because I was in the other room. So I'm coming just a little slower where those ends stop to make sure that they're all nice and smooth. Because there's ends that stop here and there's ends that stop here. So don't be surprised when you're if you're trying to work on your girls and you you find that frustrating. That's Let's go forward. Because I don't remember which direction the other one went. I went higher than I meant to, but she looked okay, so we're going to leave her. Okay, let's, let's go back on this one. Nothing's poking out funny, so we're just going to leave that. Remember, I told you, they don't all have to be identical. But see those ends... They want to tangle and kink right there. So let's try to remember to come below those and drop our curl lower than those. Let's 
slow down a little bit where those ends are. Back. Nope. And see how they want to pop out right there. Smooth them again and see if we can go the other direction. Sometimes it just wants to go the other direction. Don't fight with her. On Belle Truss wigs, the, all the layers, all the support hairs are more um, staggered. They're at all different lengths. I don't ever find just a, um, I call it a shelf. All right, that one's okay. Nothing's popping out, so we're going to leave it. That might have been why I didn't videotape the other one. There was a lot of cussing going on because of those support hairs in there. Which way are we going? Let's go this way. Now, if somebody can see something that I'm doing wrong that I need to change, I like that one better than the one beside it. So see, I dropped that farther below those short hairs. So let's try to do that with these two beside it. So let's preheat it. Still don't know why that has a little drag to it. Okay. And this one. So see, I'm intentionally not starting the curl until I'm below those ends right there. And let's go forward. And I can feel the ends right there. Right there. And I haven't had very many Raquel Welch pieces. This is probably my, I don't know, maybe this is only the fifth or sixth one that I've done and I've only owned two. This will be my third one that I've owned for me. Let's go that way. I don't know which way that is, but it turned out okay. forgot you were sitting there. <laughs> oh, goodness. I was just sitting here thinking to myself, I don't know if I like this curling iron because I still feel like I'm getting drag. Drag or pull. So I turned it up to 280 to see if we can get more smoothness. So the other thoughts that were going through my mind that I forgot to share because I forgot you were sitting there. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Good thing I didn't do anything <laughs> strange. So, no, I don't think I don't think I like this like I like my Larev. But I think for somebody that wouldn't be as 1,000% picky as I am, I see right there it acted too hot. Let's try it again. Um, it would probably work just fine. See, now it's it's feeling too hot. So 280 on this iron is feeling too hot on this hair. That's why I say test your tools. What this one needs to be at 260, my other one can be at 320 and be just fine. Let's try to go this way. I don't remember which way we just tried. What? Fine, leave it like that, fine, move on. So I've got a couple of Jones. We'll, we'll do some, see if we can get 
Jones to sassy and not so flat. And I honestly don't know what I what I did before. I think it just it just ended up. I think it was just a fluke that she turned out before. Okay, now now we have some of these are the pieces from that short front. So we're gonna we're gonna pin gonna pin and we're gonna pin those out of the way. Don't leave that pin in too long because I don't want them to mess up. I'm trying not to do anything with that part. Okay. Do a thick piece and see if it works out. You see how, how thin it goes all the way down there to the bottom? And let's go, let's go forward and let's try to make it curlier because it's right next to the face. So I think I went around a full time. Was anybody counting? Okay, that's not too bad. That's okay. Now let's let these down so they don't, be careful taking those out. Let's let those down so they don't get clip marks. And I'm thinking if I don't curl them, they, they some, somebody might think they blend in. I don't, I hate the drop off from here to here. Okay, for the sake of this being on the same video, I, I have to use this one so I can remember. But see, I like the way this, this, what is this? You know what this is, swirly. It swirls easier than the other one. Um, and we're now we're getting up in shorter, I don't know, I think they're shorter. Yeah, now we're getting up in shorter hairs. See those short ones right there? But let's pull them out and put them in this front hair. But see those short ones are all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna stop. All right. And I've got it at 270 because this one doesn't go to 260. So let's see what this one does at 270. Oh, it just, it feels nice. But maybe somebody can recommend one that's amazing good like this. I'll pick up that little short hair back there. Do that one more time. And let's go forward. But you professional stylists that cut curly hair, you know what I'm talking about. Natural curly hair, if you cut it in the wrong place, you've got ends poking out everywhere. Let's see if we can go back. Okay. Which way? Let's go back. Do I want it that curly? Okay, she's fine, she's fine. She's looking good. All right, all those little hairs. Going in where my fingers are, clamping it. so that I don't shove those hairs in and make a shove mark where those little short hairs are. So I'm holding them nice and tight so I can go right in there with my curling iron without shoving a hair. I don't know if you can see what I'm talking about. Let's go, let's go right. That one's probably going to be too curly. I went around too many times. Oh, it is. Okay, so let me see if I can just zip this one down real quick. Yes. Sometimes to zip it down works. I don't mind some of these poking out. That gives it some sass. That's what I need to learn to do on Jones. I need to figure out what, how to get Jones to just get all sassy. 
I don't want her to look like I've got her all curled up. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. I'm not real familiar with curling short hair or, you know, giving short hair a turn. So somebody that does, let me know. Now, somebody might say, why don't I just turn her head? First of all, I forget. Are you, can you see her? Um, second of all, what? I've got a, she's held firm with a t-shirt on the thingy. So she doesn't turn very easy. And if I had her easy enough to turn, then she wouldn't stay where I want her when I want her to stay. Again, if somebody has that all figured out, let me know. Sometimes it's the simplest things that until somebody tells me, well, hey, why don't you just do it this way? I don't have a clue. I don't remember which way we're going. Are we going back? Okay, now we're getting, does that one go up there? Yeah, that one goes up to the top. Let's get those out of the way. So I wanna get up there nice and close, get all those combed out and hold my fingers smooth. There's a tangle down there, but we'll just hit it and get it warmed up. Remind me to try to just turn her head rather than turning the whole tripod. Let's see if that works. Comb it while it's hot. Got it. Let's heat it up again, get it all nice and straight. Hold it longer where that tangle was. Now we got all those little straight ones falling out. Which way are we going? Let's go back. Because I don't remember what we did on the last one, but I'm going to try to make it curlier because this is in the front. But I slowed down. I wasn't consistent. I didn't have a consistent movement. I slowed down, so I got a straight piece there in the middle. So sometimes if you're if you're frustrating and you don't know why, it's because you've got to be consistent there. All right. Oh, okay, cute. I still need to cut these. I'll show you how I do that though. Probably not today. Probably have to be a different day. Oh, I forgot to turn her head. Let's put her back. Let's see if we oh we can turn her head a little bit. Huh. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> Okay. Goldie Hawn, that's what it reminds me of. This kind of looks like Goldie Hawn in the front. Too heavy. Let's go, let's go forward here. There. Yeah. Now see, she's starting to get these fuzzies up here just from me putting her up and down in these clips because those fuzzies were not there yesterday. Sometimes they are persnickety. No, she felt absolutely beautiful coming out of the box. Okay, I want to drop this down and go back from here. Still forgot to move her head. She needs to have a little beeper on her like that curling iron that's sitting over there beeping at me. Right there. But I'm loving Shaded Biscuit. I have been afraid of it for years. I'm thinking I'm really liking it. That's why sometimes I straighten them first and then come back in and curl them so you can see. But sometimes, I mean, you can, you can see. You can tell that those are previous curls and these are not. Well, when I'm paying attention, I can. <laughs> I think we're getting cloudy. We have had lots and lots of dirty wind. So the dirty wind 
I always ask the farmers, I always say, Who's, whose farm is in my yard? The dirty wind makes it look overcast. Let's try to give it a little lift-ish or something. I don't know. Better. Whoops, let's turn her head. Oh, she does turn. Surprise, surprise. I don't want to wear out her styrofoam, though, by always forcing her to do something she doesn't want to do. Whoops, move her head, move her head. That's like going to be a whole new thing for me to learn to do. I don't know. I always say I don't want to learn new things, but that girl sitting right up here, where is she? Oh, that girl, where is she at? Right there, that girl. I need to get a hold of Deidre and ask her how exactly she got hers to look amazing with a blow dryer. That's the look I want for that girl. So I need to see if she'll put out a tutorial or, or what's that? FaceTime video or something, that's cute. So neat. see that one, whoops, move her head. That one's so cute, I need to redo at least part of this one right there. I don't like that bend right there. So let's see if we can preheat it and make it go this way. Yeah, move ahead. I need to put a sign on that wall that says move her head. Move her head. You think I think I'll read it? Don't be surprised if you come back and there's a little sticky note up there. Well, it'd have to be a big sticky note, big enough for me to pay attention to it. Let's go forward. Right. Oh, that's oh that's nice. That's nice. She's cute. But hey, looks good. So, I don't know, do I want to keep that piece and work on that one with the front? No, nope, let's, let's do it now while we're here. Because remember, I'm hoping not to do the front. And see that piece that fell out? It's just fine. But let's redo... This one and this one, but this piece that fell out, boom, it's good. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Okay, turn her head. Well, look at that. <laughs> I can still learn new things. Okay. Okay, so I, I tilted the head back. Her head. I tilted the head back like I do when I'm working on this is the crown area. But when I'm running my hands through that, I don't feel crinkles. Let's put her back up and see what she looks like. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. I don't know. Let's let this down, see what this looks like. I think she's cute. Let's play with scissors. This back hair that I do not want to cut. Right, let's see, that's her ear. The back hair that I do not want to cut, I'm just gonna clip it out of the way. Let me look at it for a minute. I don't think I have as much down as I want. I wanna take more down. I know, it doesn't look like very much. That piece. Just gonna cut from, just like, I don't know if I can do this backwards. Let me see. 
That's it. That is it. So let's set her up. Oh, I think that was just. Did that take care of it? I think it's enough to start with. Remember, you can always take more. Come, come down like that. I can't do this backwards with the camera, sorry. Just that much hair, that's all. Okay, does she look cute? Does she look more tapered now? That piece doesn't. Don't cut too much. See, it goes from short to long. Those are probably a little curlier than I... So I'm just gonna go right there. I'm going the opposite direction I normally would, but the camera's in my way, honey. And yes, when you do a haircut, you should probably put her on a block head because the block heads aren't tilted like that. But for my own personal girls, I do her like this. Let me take this one. See, and that doesn't even feel like a piece that I curled. All right, that's why it was too curly. It was the previous girl. Let's see what we can do here. Cute. Oh, she's cute. Now I gotta find somewhere to go. Before I cut that piece off, let me see if just curling it the other way is all I need. We've all learned the hard way. Try something else first before you cut it off. Well, then it makes those look long beneath it too. And let's try this. Just do it. I think that's cute. That's cute. I like it. Love you. She's so cute. She's not as fluffy as the other girl. The other girl. Raquel Welch always in Shaded Biscuit that I recurled, but I did not curl the top because that makes it too fluffy. Oh my gosh. I, she's new. All I did was relax. There's my cardinal. I love you, cat.